Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all appropriate supervised ages outside the dilapidated Castle Grey Skull in front of the great flavored Snake Mountain in the Hobo Jungle, I bring to you another Reno McDallas review. Um, one bad note already, <laughs> uh, as if it wasn't starting off bad enough. Um, that sub pump is going to be rubbing, rubbing, yeah, it's going to be rubbing in the background. Very erotic. Running in the background because it's been raining here nonstop. So I apologize about the sound, but hey, whatever. Um, you know, it's not like we expect high quality from me. All right, so first figure we've got up is the SH Fig Arts, Figu Arts, Figure Mama's Arts, Birds of Prey, and the whatever friggin' anticipation and promoclamation of uh, Preparation H of Harley Quinn. Uh, everybody knows I am a Harley Quinn fanatic. And uh, this figure it looks like it's already going to disappoint me because I think she's only got one set of ponytails, which is weird because how much did I pay for this thing? Too much? Yeah, that's the right answer. So let's see. Let's get this thing opened. Simple style and heroic action. All right. And a bunch of words I can never, ever read. All right. I think it says something about how attractive I am for buying this, and I'm totally not a loser for having an entire shelf full of Harley Quinn stuff. Okay. So it appears I am correct about the ponytail thing. Now that's disappointing. See, look at that. One set of ponytails, and then all that. Wow. That kind of sucks. Well, I don't even know which head I'd use. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get this the rest of the way open. Nice and easy, because these things tend to fly apart. Oh, yeah. Oh, the hands flew everywhere. I figured that much. All right, so here we have... Let's get them all out so we can have a look-see. Good grief. I've heard of things being handsy. <laughs> Alright, so she's got roller skates that you can swap out with her normal feet for your roller derby action. Okay, and as for hands, there's two different lollipop hands. There's that one. You see that okay? It's going to be really hard to do this. Get all the detail. There's that one, so you can have a can dual wield lollipops should you need to. There is a gripping hand. It's really hard to get these on here. I'm sorry, guys. And another gripping hand, and a hand for hand shaking or for butt scratching. You can scratch your butt for good like that. Looks like the hand she has on currently, well, that looks like they're jazz hands, but we'll talk about that in a second. All right, so here is the other Harley heads. Okay, that is the lollipop action. Very nice. Here is the, she's having a good time and laughing. The likeness is great. I'm just disappointed with everything else so far. Um, and then there is the mallet. Or sledgehammer, or sludge mallet, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and now, oh, there's another hand that's in there. It looks like another hand shaking hand. Like I said, they all kind of flew out. And there that is. Okay, so uh, as per usual, these SH Figure Arts or whatever have weird plastic wrapping. This one is going inside of her uh, outfit, I guess, to keep the paint from getting stuck to her, or getting too hot, and probably, and melting and killing all of your children. I don't know. But it is a pain to get out. Okay. Wow. Alright, let me... Okay, first off... Let's see if I can get that. There we go. Alright, finally. Let's about to pause it. Um, she does have jazz hands equipped, so... Let's do the jazz hands. Jazz hands! Okay. And that's a pretty good likeness of her. It looks very good. Um, has all the superposability that you would expect from these all over the place. We can do the cha-cha, we can do, which I don't know how to do, we can do all kinds of stuff. I don't really care for the costume because it looks like she stole it from Goldmember. Um, I really wish they would have had better costumes in that movie all around. I also wish they wouldn't have uh, made Cassandra Cain stupid as hell and made her like Batgirl, but, you know, that's not going to happen. Because why would we ever do that? Why would we make it make sense? Alright, let's see if I can get these new little hands on. 
because we want her to be able to hold her mallet. Of course not. Why, why ever would these things fit in easily? Why? Why? I ask you. All right, let's pause this and come back. Okay, so I was going to put her roller skates on, but after how much fun it was to get those wrists to line up correctly so I could pop in the hands, we're not going to be doing that. I imagine the ankles will be far worse. Overall, this figure looks great, but, I mean, you got some stuff like, look at that joint, how awful that looks. And as always, these things are just kind of... They're kind of made, it's almost like they're made to friggin' explode if you do anything other than a couple poses and throw them on a shelf, you know? I mean, I get that they're adult collectibles and not supposed to be played with, but as a toy photographer, you know, you, you want something that's going to be able to move, stay put, but also, you know, you have fun with the darn thing, but I don't know. Anyway, this figure is not worth the money I paid for it, especially since how much they charge, they couldn't be bothered to throw a couple extra ponytails in there, right? I mean, come on, that's like packing a head sculpt without part of the stuff that's ridiculous so um if you're addicted to harley quinn crap like me get it but try and save your money goodness gets to get the damage package get something like that speaking of damage package though let's move on to i uh been getting these power rangers for my kids they're really into power rangers now i don't know anything about the rangers beyond uh whenever jason uh zach and trini left so all right, here's the package. There we go. See all this guy. Now, from what I've read, I guess this guy becomes Zach or excuse me, Jason becomes this guy for a while. He's some kind of alien or something, and then can't, can't be Gold Ranger for a while. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. I'm sure there's be Power Ranger guys that watch this that are tell me I don't know what I'm talking about, which is correct. I don't. So, uh, all right, this guy has a cool scar down his eye. I mean, rocket. You know, Sub Zero style or Hudson from Gargoyles, right? Let's see. Can't get a better look. I have no idea if this looks anything like the guy that plays him. I have no idea. So, from that angle, he kind of reminds me of Bashir from Deep Space Nine, sorta. I know it's not the same guy. It, it would be impossible. Anyway, you have your energy bolt. You know, I never use these on display with any figures, and I don't know that kids would even really play with this. I don't know. Uh, you guys tell me, do you use them? Alright, so he get him out here, and let's look at his hands. Looks like he comes with... Ah! Of course, you know me. Alright, uh, gotta make a mess. Alright, looks like he just comes with two fists for punching putty. Does he still fight putties at this point? They still have putties around. It's a good question. Punching monsters in the face. And he has this really cool mace. Uh, uh, sword, pike thing. Uh, I've seen him use it in the video game. That uh, yeah, He's pretty neat in that. That's part of why I got him. The kids like the game. They like playing as all the rangers. So we got a bunch of the old school monsters that they're really enjoying that I got off eBay for like five and ten bucks a piece. But these lightning collection guys are pretty cool looking. Really nice detail. I like the details along the uh, armor up the top here. And... Uh, dig the belt. He also has really good detail. They did a really good work on this lightning collection. Uh, props to Hasbro on that for sure. Um, see how well he holds his weapon. Get that right on in here. Oh yeah. Okay. You know some of the times you get figures and they just don't hold their weapons very well, but he grasps it fairly well, fairly easy. Um, you know he has your standard. Lightning collection articulation, which is pretty darn good. Um, overall, these things are very well made. Um, if you're into Power Rangers, uh, any of them. If you're into, especially what is that Zio? Is that what that is? Like I said, I got guys. I don't know. I, I'm. I quit like season what was that? Season two, halfway through. So, anyway, that's pretty cool, right? So if you're into that, get it. And uh, you know, the, if you're a loose collector, grab them off of Amazon. Get the warehouse deal. Save yourself a couple bucks, right? And we got this one. This one I wanted because I thought he was pretty cool looking. Um, I saw that he had a dog head. Uh, I looked him up, so his he name's Anubis Doggy. Is that it? Or was his last name Hauser? So is it like Doggy Hauser or Doogie Hauser? You, do you, if you're not old enough to get that joke, don't even bother. If you are old enough to get that joke, I apologize. Anyway, so there's your box. The Shadow Ranger. So, go ahead and get him out. 
He is a police doggy. Okay, so it looks like he comes with... I guess that is for his neck, for whenever he is a uh, in doggy mode rather than in car ranger mode. Okay, I guess that's his morph or cell phone. That's his morpher, I'm sure, or whatever they call it in that episode. He has a swirly bit of energy power. Or that's a really twisted fart, one or the other, sure. Um, okay, let's go ahead and pop him out. And then we'll look at his weapons. Alright, so he has a really neat looking sword. I dig this. Oh, i get it to come out without... There we go. Okay, yeah, so that's got some good detail on that. Uh, what is that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be like a... Dragon head, or yeah, I guess it's a dragon head. That's a really neat sword. I like the design of that. Pretty cool. And then we got uh, we got your instant transmission fingers, or you know what else, but we won't say that because we try to keep it PG here. And uh, we got a fist. And then of course we have his doggy head. Is that, he got dreads. That's cool. So he's got like dragon looking ears and he's, is he a dragon dog? Is that what, alien thing? I'm sure he's an alien, but all right. So have a look, see at him as well here. So here's what I don't get. And you guys can tell me or I can look it up, but just, okay. So this is him, right? right? How does that fit in that helmet? And yes, I'm sure magic is your answer or the, the magic of the morph and grit. I don't know. I don't know, but that's. Anyway, I really like the detail on this. Check that out, that patch on the side. Well, I don't know if you'd call it, what would you call that? Would you call that a patch? or an, It'd be an emblem, I guess, but that's pretty cool. I like that. He does have that articulation. He has a holster for his sword, I believe. Let's see if that just goes right on in there. Oh, yeah. Wow, holsters that fit things. Hasbro, you can do it. Congratulations. And then, uh, let's see how easy his head comes off. I'm going to put the dog head on it. Ah, oh, there we go. So I'm guessing this just fits over that to give... Oh, yeah, there we go. So it makes it look like his uh, actual neck. And then we pop that on. Oh, I like that. That looks way cooler. All right, so we'll keep him like that. I'll present him to the children like that. Anyway, a uh, very cool figure. If you like uh, aliens, you like dogs. I mean, of course, you like the Power Rangers, right? You like alien dogs that have, like, dragon-like ears? There you go. That's an idea. So like I said, I have no idea what I'm talking about on these Power Rangers. <laughs> but that's kind of fun, right? So, anyway, yeah, the the kids have been really enjoying that, uh, was that, uh, something the Grid game. The, the comic book's pretty cool. I read the comic. I got that. I decided to read those since the kids are playing the games. And then I also have this statue here of the Red Ranger. We're going to pretend it's Jason because that's the one I know. Um... Here's the side of your box. Back showing get the footer up. Back showing all the others. They got white and green Tommies. Side, top, and bottom. Alright. Pop this thing open. Comes in this uh, flimsy-ish uh, collector thing, but that's good because you can just reach in there and grab the top by the top of the box. But it's sturdy enough to protect them. I dig that rather than, you know, some of these you just got to fight. All right. Let's see. Let's pop him open. There, he is taped at the bottom. All right. Cool. So uh, it does have a stand at the bottom of it. So you can, so it will display like this. And you can see the detail on the medallion, which is very nice. He has his gun in his holster. His gun, gun, his gun can knife. Uh, his sword. It looks like he's about to go Tyrannosaurus or something. But uh, details very nice on the statue. Pretty well made. It's very light, though, but it seems very well made. Um, <clears throat> now, I looked at the green one, and I was thinking about getting it, but the green one the way, down here where the, the foot met the base is just real weird looking. It looked like he was breaking his ankle to stand there. So let's see how that looks just sitting there displayed. Okay, that's what that looks like. Get that back. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, look good on the shelf. All right, anyway, wow, this has gone on, this video. So we'll go ahead and wrap it up here with the most important test, yada, 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 give, go through the power, greatest figure ever. Okay, ready? All right, Harley Quinn, do not explode on impact, please. I missed, and I'm not even going to try again, because those, 
SH figure arts are flimsy as hell. All right, let's let's give this some power. You've got the touch. You've got the power. Are you ready, baby? No. To oh, whoa! Skeletor is getting a little formal with Anub Anubis. Anubis. I can't even speak the American tonight. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> Well, do you want to go skill? No, I don't think he needs to go. All right, and we'll get Doggy here. And he bounced off because his head's rubber. All right, guys, well, that's the episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well. And uh, remember, free the figs and the statues, for that matter.